Hi, everyone, and welcome to Who Threw the Curve, and this is a Robert Ruiz rant. And today we're going to be speaking about the frayed edges of unity, watching the liberal international order unravel. Oh, the liberal international order, that grand old tapestry of global governance woven together by liberal democracies with the noblest intentions of peace, cooperation, and mutual prosperity. It's fraying at the edges, isn't it? As if the threads of international harmony decide to go on a diet, thinning down, leaving us cold and exposed to the harsh realities of geopolitical wind chill. And what a spectacle it is, watching it slowly come apart at the seams like a well-worn sweater knitted by your grandmother that seen one too many Christmases. The crux of this unraveling yarn lies in the magnificent idea that nations by default prefer to get along holding hands and singing kumbaya around the campfires of global stability. Yet, here we are, witnessing a potential dramatic wardrobe malfunction on the global stage as this ideological ensemble looks perilously close to falling apart. The unraveling reality is that the fabric of the liberal international order is not only getting threadbare, but could, in a whoosh of geopolitical recklessness, go full birthday suit on us. Imagine, if you will, nations suddenly deciding, well, this has been fun, but I reckon it's my time to shine. Embarking on a solo career like a lead singer, ditching the band for a dubious solo success. The idea that the collapse of this international commodity could be sudden and irreversible is as surprising as discovering that politicians tend to stretch the truth. Who would have thought that an intricate system relying on mutual respect shared values and the collective restraint of ego-driven leaders could possibly stumble so where does this leave us the global audience to this tragic comic drama shall we embrace for impact preparing for a world where the liberal international order is a relic spoken of in hushed tones around the digital campfires of future historians will we look back with a sense of nostalgia chuckling ruefully at our naive belief in perpetual cooperation as we navigate nav- as we navigate a brave new world of every nation for itself in the end the real sarcasm is that despite all our advancements wisdom and technology we find ourselves at the mercy of the oldest human flaw the inability to consistently play nice with others As the liberal international order teeters, perhaps it's time to stock up on popcorn. The final act of this geopolitical drama promises to be both profoundly entertaining and unsettlingly unpredictable. Thank you for listening to Who Threw the Curve. And don't forget to follow us, like us, and share us. Thanks.